episode 124, and it's been an extraordinary ride, and tonight we're making history. We got the first front desk Jedi, Allison Sanders. Give it up for her, would you please, because she is just crushing it at uh, Zoto Signature Salon and Spa. You know, the salon owners are the twins, Jessica Johnson and Jennifer O. And the summit coach, the front desk goddess, and that is Julie Molina. And you know what? Allison's one of Jules' uh, uh, prodigies. And so we said, come in and hang out with us. So uh, uh, let me, before I bring her on those, like we always in the right, or in the right. She's really crushing it. She's been at uh, Zoto for a couple of years. She, she goes to school full time. She's on the very back end of getting a marketing degree, University of T. She's doing 25 hours to 40 hours a week of school. She's crushing it on. She's trending 36 referrals. You go, wait a minute, referrals, what? She's not a service provider. She's at the front desk. I know. That's why she's doing a great job. She helped them sell the add-ons, 230 of them. She's on social media doing bridal parties. You go, how can somebody at the front desk do that? Because she's been trained by Jules Molina, the Summit Front Desk Division, 22 years old, rebooking. She's got the salon cooking at about 63% RB, 15% RTS. I mean, she's freaking hitting it on all cylinders, you guys. That's why, that's why I invited her. And, and then she's like, she, she's like at level two, on her way to level three. Every level jump, it's a $1 raise. I mean, uh, Jules has got all these goals set up. I think there's like three goals you can hit a month. If you hit every goal you hit, you get a $15 gift card. She's hitting three goals a month so you know like she's got these gift cards and she's buying just a boatload of stuff because she's going to school and she's trying to have a life and she's going to talk about tonight the four-step uh front desk system and there's like four-step check-in and four-step check-out and four-step phone and tour so I, just, I can't wait to have that conversation with her um She'll tell you her story graduates from high school in 14, does some work before she hooks up with Zotos uh, at Kohl's and New York and Company, and then jumps on the Zoto wagon on 17, and so she's well into her second year. And uh, in addition to that, you ought to hang out on her <clears throat> Instagram page. You guys, you have to go and hang on her page. It's at Allison underscore Sanders. She's on Facebook and Insta, but look at the post here. And so she's using her Insta page to make rain for Zotos. That's why I wanted her on to talk to you tonight about how she's doing that. So, um, and look at, the, I mean, these posts are extraordinary. It's like, she's like a front desk on steroids for guys. I'm going to call her the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the front desk. It's just unbelievable. So, um, uh, I'm going to have her on, spend a few minutes t telling her about her story, and then we're going to get into some of her best practices. So, as we always do, keep your uh, fingers crossed to make sure that the wife... Oh, and there she is! Would you give it up for you guys? <laughs> Did you hear me bragging on you? Did you hear me bragging on you? Yes, I appreciate it. Yeah. I, I really like the Arnold Schwarzenegger thing. I really, I try. <laughs> well, listen, it's, it's, thank you. I know it's been a long day. I think you have about nine, 10 hours under your belt at work and you got a lot of stuff going on at school. So we always are interested in the story behind, you know, the Jedi. So in a nutshell, what was your life like before you started working at Soto? Yeah, so my life, I was really just going to school and I was working kind of in dead end retail jobs. I've always been an extroverted person where I like talking to people, but I definitely wasn't having a lot of self confidence. I didn't really like confrontation or dealing with difficult situations. And I didn't understand how to really figure out what I wanted and then to kind of calculate my goals and figure out what I needed to do to get myself there. So I got to the point where I was just very unhappy with my retail life. And I was actually getting my hair done here by one of my friends. And I asked her if she had any positions available that I didn't have to be in the beauty field. And so she said, the front desk, it's going to be harder than you think it's going to be, but like you can try for it. And so I did. And that's where I ended up. And I didn't realize how much it was going to change me as a person and 
just make me more driven. Oh, I mean, I, I love it. So your on-ramp to Zoto was you were a guest and, you know, you see the, the ambience and you have a conversation with a buddy that's there. And all of a sudden now you're you're in the game. So now you're on the Zoto's platform. What made the difference? So something happened to you there that uh, I'd like you to, to talk about. What, what was the difference maker? Yeah, there were definitely a few key points. So I definitely, when I first started, realized very quickly that the culture of the salon was different than anywhere else I'd worked or been. We really have each other's back and it's very nice to know like if something happens or you really need the support of someone or something really good happens, you're always gonna have someone there. And it's very nice just knowing you really have a sisterhood and a family with everything you're doing. That was definitely the first thing I noticed. And then another thing that was really important to my success was the one-on-one -on -one coaching with mm -hmm. Jules and just your coach in general. You need to just be able to take what they say and run with it because they know what they're talking about. And if you really listen and work your best to improve yourself, you're going to be able to grow. Even if you don't think it's true, right. it's true. Um, and then, so another thing that I learned from Jules herself was to calculate what I needed and where I wanted to go. And that was able to take my goals and make them more realistic and attainable to look at what I needed every day and go, okay, I can make that number and I can make it work for myself. So that was very nice. And then the last thing that really, you know, helped me was breaking out of my shell and realizing that my personal social media was going to benefit not just me and the salon, but like my friends and getting to see what I do and if they wanted to try services. So at first I was hesitant, but after I kind of broke through that and we did a, like a social media campaign like contest, it made me realize how much I love social media marketing and I can use that to my benefit. And so you would, you become, I consider you like a prodigy of Jules Molina that through her coaching. And when I look at your, your Instagram page, I mean, it's extraordinary for, you know, being behind the desk. And I know a lot of that inspiration came as a result of her, uh, her influence and her leadership, but now you're there, right? Uh, and and uh, Allison, and so what, what's your life like now? Like, well, how's your life different than it was even like, you know, like 18 months ago? Not to sound like soap opera-y, but it's really definitely improved. I can feel myself being confident and I can handle tasks more and I'm getting more responsibility and I'm really just able to handle that better than I would have before I started at the salon. Like, I feel like even though I'm getting more like tasks to do throughout the day and throughout the week, like I'm able to really just handle that. And I've, I've really grown. So then um, the other thing that I've probably noticed in what it's like now and how it's different is I am a completely separate person than who I was. I, although was an extrovert, I wouldn't like go an extra mile to like go out of my way to get stuff done or to talk to people that I felt like it was going to lead to a confrontation. Like I didn't, I didn't really like doing that. And so I've just felt like taking the coaching and understanding how it can affect my life and learning from people that have been through everything that I'm going through has really made all the difference and making me grow as a person and my professional life. I mean, I'm loving it. And so where do we go from here? Like what's, what's, what's the future hold for Allison? Um, well, I'm just now finishing up my last semester in marketing at the University of Toledo. So I'll be in there in the fall. Um, so I plan on continue, continue working with the salon at least until the end of my um, semester. And we'll see what happens from there. I eventually wanna move somewhere warmer cause I'm out here in Ohio and I'm not a cold weather person and I don't like winter. So I like warm. And my end goal is to work for the Walt Disney Company. I've loved them since I was little. I wanna really make a difference and make an impact. And I think marketing and learning from everything I can do here socially online will really put me in a position to make an impact. So you're you're in a place where, you know, behind the helm, this this dashboard, this cockpit called Zoto's Front Desk, that's just extraordinary. And what you're doing there and how you're reinventing it is just amazing. Having said that, there's a lot of people that are at places that you were at 18 months ago when you on-ramped. What might you say to them that might give them some vision, some inspiration to uh, take their game up a notch or two? 
I am going to tell them pretty much what I've told a lot of the new associates that have come onto the front desk when they're stressed and they're worried about what's going to happen. You just have to have patience. You have to trust the process and really let it work for yourself, but also believe in yourself because whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And you just need to know that you're amazing, that it's going to be great. And I really love the, the quote, a leopard isn't going to change its spots overnight. But with a lot of guidance from your coaches and self-motivation, which is really important, you can achieve what you want. You can get that pay raise. You can move to that next step. Yep. And you, you got a whole bunch of people that I'm looking at my dashboard that are saying, this is so cool. You even got some people in Florida saying, come and work at my salon. I got some places for you. And then, of course, you got your... <laughs> You got your homies are on tonight that are rooting you on as well. So I want to talk about some of your keys. I, I just absolutely love your first key. When you and I were chatting, you were coaching me on the, you called it the four, the four step front desk system. And you got these script guides and you said, we got four steps, say everything. We got, you know, check in, check out, phone and tour. What is that in a nutshell? What is that? And why does that matter? And why is that making the difference for you and at Zotos that it is? So the, the four steps, we have four steps for a check-in, a check-out, a phone script, and then a tour. So what it's doing is really kind of giving you a different level of interaction with the clients and making sure that you are hitting all of your goals in every single conversation that you can have with your clients. So like the phone script, you want to make sure that you're like having a unique greeting. So like, for instance, ours is, it's all about you at Soto, like for this month, and we change it up for each month. And then you want to make sure you're figuring out what they want and helping them. But you also want to make sure you're hitting on paid. Did you, you're getting a haircut. Do you want a conditioning treatment? Like just kind of adding it on for the stylist, but also for yourself. And then making sure you let them know like the retail specials that you have going on. So you can really benefit everyone. Same with like the checkout, making sure you hit those again. And then the phone, you know, when you're on the telephone, checking them in, you want to make sure you're consistent because consistency is what sells. So yeah. So as I'm your... as I'm listening to you, Allison, you know, as you were coaching me on this, it's first of all from the from the phone to the check in to the check out, it, it's seamless. That the, it just the experience for the guest is extraordinary. And as you're being kind and gracious, you're also very conscious of getting the guest with your script guide involved in other services and products. So you are in essence at the front desk making rain for all the service providers. So you gotta be BFFs with everybody that works at Zoto. I try. The best, the best thing out of those four systems though, I would say that's working really well for us are the tours for new clients. Because even if you have a small salon, you have a big salon, you take your, your guest with you and just show them around a little bit, you can highlight points that they didn't realize you had. So like, say you're like us, you're a salon and spa. A lot of people don't realize we're a spa. So you can say, hey, we offer massages too and include like a coupon or like just say, this is the best massage therapist. And they really go, huh, okay, I think I'll come back for, for a massage if you recommend it. So it's a way to just kind of get involved yeah. and make them realize it's pretty cool here. I mean, I'm, I'm loving this conversation because on the front end, it looks like you're giving a tour so we know who's who in the crew and how do you navigate the salon and spa. But as you're giving the tour, you're planting seeds. It's by the way, this is you're introducing the guests to services, people that they're and as they're make you're making them mindful. It sounds like they get intrigued, they get curious, and then they get more involved. They're either when they're there, or they come back, they're scheduling. So you are a lean, green, mean money machine, if you will, as you take people on tours. I actually had a client that had been here several times, but wanted a tour. So I took her around and ended up hitting on the fact that one of our amazing estheticians is a Nova Lash ambassador and we do eyelash extensions. And so she signed up to do the eyelash extensions that day. And I've had multiple people ask about the 3D brow etching that we do just from the Oh doors. my God. So what would that like uh, the, the eyebrow uh, makeovers and, and, and etchings and that, what kind of ticket would that be that she got involved? How much more did she get committed financially because of your tour and because of that conversation? So eyelash extensions for us are at $250 and then the 3D brow etching are at $650. So even if they don't sign up for the 3D brow etching, 
they're thinking about it and they're asking people about it and probably down the road are going to say that's a good idea. So, and, and all of those, by the way, are goals that you're going to hit. So you're crushing goals as you're taking people on tours. So it, it kind of like you've got it all figured out where it's kind of intertwined. And like you, you and Jules Molina should just like go on tour and 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 baptize all these people at the front <laughs> desk and how to take the culture. I mean, this is amazing. I'd be ready for it. That's yeah. fine. She's a fun road person to go with. <laughs> well, listen, we got about three or four minutes left. What about the second key? You talk about tracking your stats. What's that? So um, at the beginning of every month, before we do our PDMs and everything, or even after, you want to look at how many days that you work and then figure out what your goals are and calculate, um, divide how many add-ons you need how much the money is so you can make sure you're hitting it either way and just see where you want to be living at. And then that way it's easier to track throughout the week. So then that way, by the time you get to the end of the month, you're not surprised. You know where you are at. you're at. You know what you've been hitting and you're confident in everything that you've been so hitting. So it's, it's almost like you've broken it down by the day so you can check these indicators, these metrics daily. <clears throat> so you're not finding out in the 12th hour at the end of the month, oh my, I, I missed it by, it's like you got 100% control. Yep, there are so many months where I've like looked at my numbers and been like, oh, I'm doing pretty good. I bet I can double my add-ons and I figure out how much it would be to double them. And then I reach that goal. Wow, wow. Your third key, you're talking about social media as being your BFF. You got to tell us about what that is and how that helps you like pour nitroglycerin on this freaking bonfire that you've made in the salon. <laughs> Guys, I love social media. It is the best. And I know I sound like a millennial, but use it to your advantage. It is free. And you have so many friends and family already on there. And it's fun to just experiment, download different editing apps and just like make it work for you. It's great. It has gotten me a referral of a bridal party with over 11 people just from making the salon look like cute and fun, which it is. So wow. I had her contact me. Say, hey, I love the way your salon looks. Can you? So, so Al Allison, that was so huge. So because I'm, I've been like, I follow you, and your page, frankly, looks more kick butt than a lot of service providers. And you're saying, as a result of that, you got a, a, a bridal party of eleven to book. When you take out all those eleven that came in, what did that represent in service and product sales, approximately? How big was that number? So that was over a thousand dollars in revenue for the salon because um, she decided to go with us because it was a massive <laughs> bridal party that came in. From that, so you got you got to have how many people work at Zotos now? It's probably what 40, 30, 40? Over fifty-five employees. That's part of our salon tour. How many? Over fifty-five. Oh my God! So you got fifty-five people genuflecting and kissing your ring, going, "Keep it up, Al! I love it." <laughs> about social media too of just quick tip if you get services done by your like stylist and everything post it somewhere snapchat instagram facebook they're gonna see your hair color your nails and be like that i like that someone somewhere is going to enjoy it and it doesn't matter how long it takes them to like contact you they eventually will which is awesome yeah yeah so you what you're saying is anytime you're on the receiving end of someone's work you'll post that you'll share that experience with your followers and that gets more of your followers to come into the salon mm -hmm, definitely all right so we got like a minute left your fourth key you're talking about really taking advantage of your coaches and guidance what in a, in a nutshell what's that um, that just go with their advice and their flow. You have meetings for a reason. So listen to what they're saying and just try your best to roll with whatever they're explaining to you. If it takes a couple of months for you to get the hang of what they're saying, if you wanted to, you know, work on gift cards and using a certain speech to do that, if it takes a couple months, that's okay. You're bettering yourself and it might take a second, but you'll get there as long as you believe in yourself. I know I sound I love like it. a little I love but. it. Now, Christy, KV, Christy B is in Iceland, like with my wife, and she's on watching and she's saying, live this front desk superhero spotlight. She says that she's loving you big time. And, you know, she, her and Jules are BFF. So you're, you're making history tonight, girl. 
Yay. <laughs> All right, listen, we're we're out of time, but I, I want to stay close to you because uh, I, I think you're on a roll. I think you're setting the world on fire. And I want to do a shameless plug for, for, for Jules and you that if anyone's watching tonight to get on uh, Summit Salon's website and, and really have conversations, book a conversation with Jules Molina because you're her prodigy. So you're, you're an example of what's possible when somebody jumps on this resource. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's good to see you. I'm going to let you go. Uh, we'll, I'll probably be texting you overnight because you just crushed it tonight. I want everybody to give it up for Allison one more time, will you? Bye. Thanks for having me. All right. I'm going to let you go. I got, I got to go to work. Bye. All right. See ya. Take care. You too. You guys, we made history tonight. We actually made history tonight. I want, I want to really bring this back up because what this woman was, was sharing tonight was nothing short of amazing. She was talking about the Summit's four-step front desk system. And it, it, out of, it, it's by far my favorite resource at the Summit Salon Business Center. Uh, Christy Valenzuela, Jules Molina, that team has taken it to a whole new level. The, the front desk, frankly, for, for centuries has been a neglected stepchild. And those guys in the last couple of years, it's like this humongous bonfire and this training along with the scripts and the systems. Now it's like nitroglycerin to the 10th power. There's a script guide and I love how she put it. We got four steps for everything. So she said, we got a four step process for the check-in. We got a four step process for checkout, four steps for phone, four step tour. They're trained and and when and it's gracious. I mean, I love what she said in the tour as she's t taking people on the walk of the tour. She's saying, "Oh, by the way, here's another service. Here's a resource. Here's this person." She's bragging on them, and it's like she booked a tour, uh, uh, a uh, bridal party that represented over a thousand dollars for the salon spa. So I can go on and on and on. She got me hyperventilating this one. So sec her second key was tracking the statistics. I love how the, on the training they take that you know by the by the yard it's hard by the inches a cinch so they take you know the monthly goal and they break it down daily so at any time Allison can check her stats daily so that she's not surprised she's going okay I'm I'm either ahead of the game I'm behind the game she's got her hands on the dials and knobs of her own performance that was freaking huge you guys and then her third key social media is her BFF you have to hang out on her page uh, and we'll put, I think uh, Rob put her handles on, uh, on, on the comment. So, you know, follow her because I think she is a textbook example of how somebody at the front desk, she will get a service done, she'll post, and all of a sudden there's, you know, five of her, her um, followers that are coming in on referrals. This is something that was virtually unprecedented. You got to get behind this big time. And then fourth, she's taking advantage of the coach. So Jules Molina is her coach. Jules is now, you know, she's the team leader of the front desk uh, division. I believe I have to ask KB. I think if she's not on the path for director, she's like zooming probably. I'll, I'll wait for KB to, uh, to, uh, to text me. But this, she's taking advantage of the coach. So you got to get on this if you're, you're a summit. This would be, in my humble opinion, the very first system that you guys need to jump on. So give it up for her one more time, will you? Well, we made history tonight. Not only did we have our first front desk Jedi on, but she just like freaking crushed it. And whatever uh, awarenesses and mindfulnesses and consciousness we had of the front desk and appreciation, it's off the freaking chart. No longer is the front desk the neglected stepchild. Get a hold of Jules Molina. Have that conversation. She's got a whole team of people now that'll jump out of airplanes with parachutes on to help you guys to uh, get, get the front desk in order. If you're new to us, Facebook.com, Michael Cole Summit. You want to hang out here? I'm video blogging on a daily basis now. And uh, this is really where it's at. I also do use my Instagram handle, same handle, uh, Michael Cole Summit, and posting you know motivational quotes to keep us uh, in the game. Uh, if you're not living on SummitSalon.com, get your little butt on that .com. There's just too much really cool stuff you can be taking advantage of. You just scroll the homepage. Hang out in the product store. Uh, if you're if you're in the, looking at schools, hang out on the Summit Salon Academy page. 
take advantage of social media. I was just on tonight on the uh, third uh, uh, social media virtual boot camp. And I'll tell you what, Timmy Fisk is just like crushing it. Luke Huffstetter, um, uh, Kayla Ray was on uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, 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 Blake Evans was the guest tonight. You guys got to get on this. There's just too much really cool stuff going on for you not to be all over this game. Um, this was our 124th episode, so if you went to summitsalon.com slash mclive, we've got 124 episodes done, curated, edited. We got micro learning, and this is for free, and you're not taking advantage of it. I mean, this is like insane absolutely insane and then while you're on the store this now has become the uh, official textbook of these lives this is now called the social media planner you know you looking at your windows of time and how can we take what we're learning on uh, on uh, mcfb live and fill our windows of time the money is just too great these are called giant red juicy apples hanging on low branches and you guys are not plucking those damn apples. So get in the game once and for all. We've got a free calculator that you can sign up for, um, a number of calculators. Just go on the homepage, scroll the homepage, find mobile calculators, stack them high, watch them buy. We've got a free tracking app. Why are you guys not taking advantage of this? I mean, you just got to get on this program because it is the freaking bomb. We're out of time. These are our sponsors, L'Oreal PPD. They give us an, 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 a, just, a, just a, making a financial demonstration that is second to none that allow us to bring this education to you online. I, it, 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 so you got to give it up for these guys. They're just they're wonderful. This is a, salon-centric is L'Oreal's distribution arm, State, RDA, Promart. Uh, these are the distributions that really work in partnership with them. And frankly, us, the Summit Salon Business Center. Uh, KB's on tonight, Christy Balenzuela, Jules Molina. Uh, we've got a, 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 team, a leadership team that's second to none. Hang out with us. This is the next right answer for you. And so uh, I, 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 I'm done ranting, and Justin uh, Salon Centric is on. So it's great to have all you guys. Sandy Moore, I just saw you last week in uh, Fort Myers. So uh, great show. Um, we're going to be on next week with another guest. I'll probably be video blogging between now and then. So, uh, a great show. We made history. Thank you very much. I'll pause.